China will build a space power station that can provide electricity for 100,000 years? Technology leads the world again. I believe everyone has heard of solar energy, which is a convenient and clean new energy source, but have you heard of space solar energy? According to reports, China has made significant progress in the research and construction of space power stations and is leading the world. So, what progress has China made in the research and construction of space power stations? Why has the space power station attracted such widespread attention? How will it affect the development of human society? In this video, let us learn more about it. According to the latest news, China has made important progress in the research and construction of space power stations, and the annual power generation capacity can exceed 1 billion kilowatts. Once the news was announced, it immediately aroused widespread attention and discussion. Because the space power station is a facility that uses solar energy in space to generate electricity. Compared with traditional terrestrial solar power generation, space power stations can receive solar energy around the clock and at all times, regardless of weather and geographical location. According to the latest news, China has made important progress in the research and construction of space power stations, and the annual power generation capacity can exceed 1 billion kilowatts. Once the news was announced, it immediately aroused widespread attention and discussion. Because the space power station is a facility that uses solar energy in space to generate electricity. Compared with traditional terrestrial solar power generation, space power stations can receive solar energy around the clock and at all times, regardless of weather and geographical location. It is reported that China will build solar power stations in space. Once the project is implemented, the electricity generated will be enough to supply human use for 100,000 years, and the technology will be far ahead of the world. Why do scientists think so wildly about developing solar energy in space? It's very simple. Our current energy is not enough and we are in urgent need of a stable and clean energy. Humanity's current energy sources are mainly traditional coal, oil, and various new energy sources. Although mankind has made rapid progress in the field of new energy, with the growth of the world's population and economic development, people's demand for electricity is also rising. In the summer of 2022, rare high temperature weather occurred across China. The extensive use of various refrigeration equipment such as air conditioners has caused a huge gap in energy supply, and many cities in Sichuan have begun to limit power supply. This is not just a problem for China, many countries are also facing energy shortages. As the saying goes, scarcity makes things more valuable. The scarcity of energy has caused the prices of electricity and oil to rise steadily, hindering economic development. China's electricity prices are relatively low among all countries. The price of household appliances in Europe and the United States was once around 3 yuan. On the other hand, the price of electricity in China is basically only 1 yuan, and in many places it is only 8 to 50 cents. Behind the relatively low electricity prices, China is using state finance to subsidize civilian energy. This is not a solution in the long run. How to find a power source that can generate electricity for a long time and provide stable energy? has become a research direction for scientists. The planned space power station is covered with solar panels. It is about 5.5 kilometers long and 4.4 kilometers wide, and is equipped with two solar energy converters. A power generating satellite weighs approximately 100,000 tons and can generate 5 billion watts of power, 
equivalent to the total power of five large nuclear power plants. Although this technology seems simple, it is difficult to actually develop. In the early research and development work, how to build a huge power generation satellite that can effectively receive light and heat and can be used in space for a long time, is the first technical difficulty. In terms of later operations, regular maintenance and upkeep, regular correction of orbits, etc. are a series of complex tasks that make space power generation technology full of obstacles. Even so, generations of scientists are still forging ahead and overcoming difficulties, making this technology possible in the 21st century. At present, China has made significant progress in the research and construction of space power stations. Because China has used advanced space technology to successfully convert solar energy into laser, and then convert laser into electrical energy, it has opened up new possibilities for the application of space power generation technology. At the same time, Chinese scientists plan to build huge solar panel arrays in Earth orbit and transmit the generated energy to the ground through wireless energy transmission. China has also made great progress in the field of solar cell technology. As the core component of space power stations, solar cells are responsible for converting sunlight into electrical energy. China's progress in this area is crucial to the development of space power stations. The reason why China has achieved a leading position in the research and construction of space power stations is mainly due to their breakthrough progress in the field of space technology. Not only can they efficiently convert solar energy into electrical energy, they have also mastered microwave wireless power transmission technology which can wirelessly transmit electrical energy from space power stations to receiving stations on the Earth. This is also the most critical technology. It may not be difficult to generate electricity in space, but how to transmit the power to the Earth is most important. This plan promoted by China in the past few years is called the Daily Project. It was developed and researched by Xi'an University of Electronic Science and Technology and achieved major breakthroughs. The electricity generated in space is converted into microwaves through relevant conversion systems and transmitted to the ground through wireless transmission. After being received on the ground, it is converted into electrical energy again for transmission and utilization. This transmission method is very efficient and causes almost no energy loss. It is foreseeable that in the future, humans will not only use electricity generated by water conservancy, wind power, fire power and nuclear energy, but may also use electricity generated from space. And this day will not wait long, maybe in 2035. Currently, China's space power generation technology has reached a new height. This progress not only demonstrates China's strong strength in the field of space technology, but also makes an important contribution to the development of global space technology. It also leaves other countries feeling far behind. The research and development of space power generation technology will inject new vitality into the progress of aerospace science and technology. With the help of space power generation technology, humans can not only build various facilities in space, but also build residential bases on the Moon, Mars, and other planets, realizing the dream of humans living in space for a long time. Once space power generation technology matures, it is expected to bring revolutionary changes to global energy supply. The clean energy of the future will likely come from space and the moon. By collecting solar energy in space and converting it into electricity, humanity will have access to a new, sustainable source of energy. So what are the advantages of such a huge project? 
The solar energy we usually use has actually been weakened by the atmosphere and cannot reflect its original power. Moreover, solar energy is very dependent on the sky. Once it encounters continuous rainy weather, it will completely lose its effect. The energy generated by the sun every hour is enough for human beings to use for 10,000 to 100,000 years. After traveling 150 million kilometers to reach the Earth, the remaining energy is still 180,000 megawatts, which is equivalent to burning 90 megatons of high-quality coal. For humans, this is simply a mobile energy bank. The utilization efficiency of solar energy on the ground is more than 14 times different from that in space. Not only that, there are no seasonal changes in space, nor is there an alternation between day and night. This means that electricity is generated here year-round and around the clock, and the efficiency is far beyond what can be compared on the ground. Of course, scientists have also considered that if this technology is really implemented, will there be any loss during the microwave transmission of electrical energy? It certainly will, but after repeated verification, the loss rate is approximately stable at 2%, which is basically negligible. In addition, with the continuous emergence of new energy vehicles, trams, the application prospects of space power station projects have been expanded. One of the current shortcomings of new energy vehicles, trams, is that they have insufficient battery life, and many people are afraid to use them to run long distances. Secondly, you have to find special charging piles to charge, and there are often long queues during peak charging periods. Space power stations can perfectly solve these two problems. If this technology is implemented, future new energy vehicles will be equipped with a beam energy collection device. As long as people have needs, they can turn on the device and collect electricity directly from the space power station. This allows new energy vehicles to avoid queuing and can be charged anytime and anywhere. When running long distances, there is no need to worry about insufficient power. In addition, in the future aerospace field, energy collection through beam energy can reduce the use of fuel, which will greatly reduce the cost of the aerospace field. After the cost is reduced, more people will be willing to enter the aerospace field, which will reversely promote the development of this field. The most important thing is that this energy is completely free, durable, stable, and pollution-free. If the space power station is built, it will shake the status of today's oil to a great extent. China is the well-deserved leader in this regard. In short, the focus of future science and technology development will be in space. The further development and application of space power station technology will enable mankind to make more in-depth use of space resources, and space exploration will also enter a new and more important stage. However, the construction of space power stations is a global engineering project full of challenges and opportunities. It requires the joint efforts and cooperation of all countries and the coordination of law, technology, environmental protection and other aspects. Only in this way can we make full use of space resources, provide solid support for the sustainable development of mankind, and realize mankind's dream of exploring the universe. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.